Well, uh, when you really want a war, the Living Johnson is very cruel. That is the Vietnam War. Uh, the 1964 campaign was a peace candidate. They called Barry Goldwater the. Uh, but they call it peace missions now. Not war anymore. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So it's different now. But Johnson said, uh, oh, they had the Democrats had this ass rig, little girl picking up daisies. And, uh, oh, they said, uh, Goldwater called the uh, uh, nuking Vietnam, or we actually into a heavy war there. Uh, he was a peace candidate. Nobody really happened. Was it, uh, after a standard speech uh, in the campaign in California, a uh, uh, question and answer period came up. Uh, what are the options? And he listed several. Then said it was quite without endorsing it at all. And there had been suggestions that we drop out of bombs and Hutchie and then fail. Uh, and they lashed it off. So some idiot reporter came up with a lead that uh, the cold water calls for war. Uh, well, our, I checked AP the next day to see how to fix the pressure. Typically, the pressure came deep down the paper where it's likely to be cut out on the deep on the jump page. So I, I got our pressure. I made the pressure to lead on AP stories for us. That, uh, is well, I never cared all the new from Vietnam, <coughs> but and, uh, yeah. I mean I can appreciate that. But he was, you know, I mean I can appreciate if I'm. Uh, but he gets us in war. Uh, if, if I'm a munition, a munition or war um, manufacturer, I want wars. What's the bad with that? You know, so if I want, I want to make money, right? I, I make tanks. We don't, we, don't, we don't put the line into the prison because he kills the lamb. It's their nature, nope. right? I think it's evil to want people to die so I can make more money. Yeah, but they don't see it as evil. No, they see it as controlling the population. Uh, so it's like in their nature? Yeah. Uh, well, they're <laughs> Would it be much better that the people change and don't go into wars? But then they'll uh, impose the draft. They'll say that Lyndon Johnson's draft. We had the same draft. Balls had in World War II, yeah. 1838 in combat. But he said, as a matter of policy, uh, don't draft anybody over 27 and don't take anybody out of college. Well, now, that's why Dick Cheney could get three doctors to stay in uh, college until he's 27 years old and doesn't have to go. In World War II, you could finish your semester, then you had to go. Uh, George H. W. Bush was 18 years old. He didn't finish his semester. He enlisted right away. At the age of 18, he was the youngest uh, uh, combat pilot we had at that time in the war. Uh, almost got killed for that matter. But uh, so when you say that you don't draft anybody, uh, they're making put in college, and uh, you don't draft anybody over 27, so up to 38, then uh, the, uh, the army is made up of high school graduates or some, some dropouts. Uh, you're drafted whether you want to go to war or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, there are a lot of people that don't go to war. So rather the, go to prison. The body bags were uh, disproportionately filled with uh, poor white boys and Negroes because uh, typically they're less educated. So. Uh, of those body bags coming home, typically they were 18 to 20 years old. And while Negroes make up maybe 14% of our population, since the Negroes as we believe, they made up almost half of the cash please. So to listen. Okay, I mean, we can, we can go on uh, wars, I guess. It, it is bad, but it's still fought by people with guns and not by David Rockefeller. You know, uh, we're made to believe that. And, and why isn't that, that we're always uh, trying to attack them and not trying to change people? If we had. The whole sit down will be affected. Uh, one guy here going before a firing squad, another guy here uh, going to jail. That's not going to be affected. You have to get uh, the masses uh, outraged enough to say, hell no, we won't go. That's right. But is, I think that there's a there's a vision missing here. Like, I'm talking to all these people here, and I see activists, but they're not activists to me. You know, they're just people that come here. Um, kind of standing in front of, of some hotel and, and tomorrow they go back to their lives and cooperating with them. I can't imagine the angry demonstrators we see here coming back and collaborating with uh, It's very important to collaborate anyway. Uh, well, we do drink, 
Yeah, we do eat, we do um, pay our taxes, we do comply. Oh, uh, well, they don't pay taxes. Um, David Rockefeller doesn't pay taxes. Well, he doesn't comply because he is the system. Well, uh, this story came out of the late limited Washington Evening Star years ago. Well, the star has been gone for 20 years now. Uh, and it was never, they, they named 200 millionaires, including David Rockefeller, who paid not a nickel in income taxes because the rich will set up uh, things. But again, it's focusing on, on, on them, right? It's like, you won't change David Rockefeller. Are you thinking that you can change David Rockefeller? No, he's going to die soon anyway. Well, it's well, not going to come over from, yeah? yeah it's right. 96 years old, rolling around the wheelchair, <laughs> but talking to himself. But you might be able to change you know, him or him or maybe some of the people that come here in terms of their perception, right? Is that I, I, oh, I think most of these... But do you want to change? Do you want to change the system? I would like to change the system so that uh, decisions made by voters and not, uh, not by plutocrats. But isn't that, for example, that a voter, um, to, to have votes, you need to have a system, right? Well, I don't believe in nation building. Uh, if if uh, the Afghans uh, want a dictator like they've had, a dictatorial form of government for generations, for thousands of years, and most very ill in any way, they just like the, their world the way they see it. Let's not impose our system on them. Uh, we, our system is better. I certainly encourage them to change as they wanted to and try to help them if there's any. But does a right system exist them. that you think is good? I think the American system, uh, well, I agree with Churchill's assessment of not country of the United States. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Churchill said that the United Vincent States. Churchill, yeah. Was Churchill, yeah. yeah. United, rough paraphrase. The United States. It was a Rothschild, by the way, wasn't he? He was a Rothschild. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was not a Rothschild. As far as I can. I thought he was, but. Uh, I never knew that. Was okay. Actually, was, uh, but he said that the United States is a horrible country. It's uh, corrupt. There's a lot of bad people. It's the only the greatest country uh, in government ever designed by the genius of mankind. Uh, that well, was a pretty good assessment. A long way, a long, long time ago. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, he's been dead a long time. He has kicked around deep into his eyes. Yeah. Well, but to some degree, isn't, aren't, you, aren't you agree with that, that every system will be infiltrated by the people that are most powerful? Aren't well, Abraham, designed for control? Abraham Lincoln could not be elected because he's too ugly. <coughs> uh, Alexander Hamilton could not be the author of our. Bill of Rights, the first mm -hmm. 10 minutes, uh, from Mount County of Orange, Virginia. He, uh, he could not be elected because he was less than five feet tall and weighed less than 100 pounds. And uh, in the age of television, you have to be a little bit prettier than Abraham Lincoln, a little bit bigger than Alexander Hamilton to be elected. Isn't that the problem, though? That, that uh, people need that perception? Remember, in those years, uh, People who could read, that was not by any means most all the people, but they may, a politician may make a speech for three hours. The newspapers would print out just the text of his speech, uh, not a story for anything, make it easy to read, but just a bare text of his speech. And they'd, uh, they'd be uh, uh, running around gobbling the money to the guy because he would take all the money to read. Think about it. Could you imagine voters today say, I want the complete text of the president's speech so I can sit home and read it all night. If his speech would be 20 minutes, not three hours. But what well, well, I was getting same. at is like more, for example, do you believe in God? Yeah, I'm a, you, you I'm a Christian. Christian. I'm Baptist. Okay. Um, and because I'm quite surprised to be honest to see so many religious people here. Um, um, because, I mean, do you, don't you believe as well that religion has been imposed to us by the system? No, you don't have to be a Baptist. I'll break with you if you're a Methodist, even if you're a Catholic. <laughs> but to some degree, we can probably see that we've been programmed into a certain belief system. Well, Baptists are uh, programmed to believe that you should love your neighbor, thou should not steal. Uh, we don't not, need not that, though, Not confuse rape and rapture. But, I mean, if you would just have a normal consciousness, you would probably not do the same thing, right? But who's going to uh, close it? Nobody has to come to the Baptist yeah. church. We're not going to beat you up if you don't come. Yeah. 
but I, I was just saying like, there must be some sort of other control system like 